Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 Horseman Challenges Guide. In this guide, I'll be taking you over the quickest and easiest ways on how you can complete the Horseman Challenges in Red Dead Redemption 2. And before I start, I want to give a massive spoiler warning for whenever we're done with challenge number 8, because challenge number 9 and 10 require endgame stuff. So if you haven't beaten the story yet, you're more than welcome to continue to watching the video until challenge number 8. And after challenge number 8, I will give an additional spoiler warning when we're going to head into the end game content and this also of course means that if you're going to head into the comment section there will be spoilers posted i'm pretty sure of that and those who have beaten the story please refrain from spoiling like the entire game if you can so without further ado let's immediately jump into challenge number one which requires you to kill five rabbits from horseback now the best location for this one i found is in twin stack pass which is a very nice and open area where you can spot those roads very easily all you want to do really is shoot five of them and you will have the challenge complete. Challenge number two requires you to jump over three obstacles in 15 seconds. Now, it's actually super simple, this one. Uh, once you're done with challenge number one, you want to stick around the area and go to the farm right here. That farm has a very nice fence. What you want to do is you want to just jump over the same fence three times and you will have completed the challenge. It's super easy. It's not hard at all. And if you're feeling a little bit uh, fancy, then make sure to activate the cinematic camera for some uh, additional flair. Challenge number three requires requires you to ride from Valentine to Rhodes in less than five minutes. Now, personally, I did this on a dreadfully slow level one horse that I literally just got because my horse died. And the best way to go about this one, if you have a little bit of a slower horse and you're not too familiar with how uh, to handle like the cinema of a horse, what you can do is you can go to a general store and get some cinema boost. Uh, just get uh, three of each. And then just start, uh, you know, pumping that into your horse as you ride from Valentine to Rhodes. As soon as you cross the border of Rhodes, you will have unlocked the challenge. And if you're wondering about the route, just simply set a waypoint to Rhodes and just follow that. There's really no reason to stress about whether or not you're taking the right route. Challenge number four requires you to, while mounted, drag a victim for 3,300 feet using your lasso. Now, this is probably one of my more favorite uh, challenges within the game because it's, it's just a bit funny, really. Uh, all you want to do, really, is you want to lasso anyone you find and then drag that person for that amount of time and if you want to see how well you're doing a quick reminder of course is to press the left d-pad and then pressing your right bumper button in order to see how far you're going with any of the challenges you're currently working on it's a very neat little feature that will definitely uh, make sure that uh, you can see just how long you've been uh, mistreating this poor bastard if your victim comes to his unfortunate end as he is uh, having a little bit of a tough time behind your horse don't worry it will still count towards the challenge uh, just uh, make sure to uh, run away as fast as you can because uh, there's probably some lawman searching for you after some reports of some lunatic dragging a victim for all that time challenge number five requires you to trample five enemies while on the horseback now a very important detail about this one is the animals must die again twin stack pass is a fantastic location for this either rabbits or birds uh, that are just about to take off are fantastic targets for this one it shouldn't be difficult at all and if you want to make sure the animal actually die just you know run over it again as cruel as that might sound but it's a video game so i can say it challenge number six requires you to ride from strawberry to saint denis in under nine minutes without touching any water now the best way for me to describe this one is by showing this amazing graphic that i made i mean you can see my drawing skills in uh, my photoshop program has have been just absolutely stellar <laughs> Jokes aside though, for those who need magnifying glasses or can't be bothered to figure out what the hell I've been doing, uh, you want to start obviously in Strawberry and then head down to Rick Station. From there you want to take the train tracks to Flatneck Station and then take a ride still on the train tracks. From there you want to head down to Rhodes via the train tracks and just keep following those train tracks really until you end up in Saint Denis. Obviously while you're doing this challenge you can just simply pause the game so you can see where you're going. It's not hard at all. Again, use the horse to the most stimulant in order to make this challenge a whole lot easier. Challenge number seven requires to kill seven enemies from horseback without dismounting. Now, the best way to go about this one, if you're in early game still, is to head down to this gang hideout right here, where you can very easily kill seven enemies uh, in just a just a minute or so. If you've already cleared the location, a good place to go to is to the uh, Gray Mansion at Calican Hall. Uh, just simply uh, shoot in the air one time, and everyone will become hostile. Uh, do make sure to run for your life whenever you're done though because 
uh, they don't really like you shooting up the place all that much. Chance number 8 requires you to kill 9 predators from horseback. Now, obviously, the easiest way to do this one is to head down to either this location or any location in the swamp area where you can just kill 9 gators. If you can really find any gators and you happen to see some boar running around too, they happen to count too. So, either you can decide to go for alligators or for boar. Both will count, but obviously gators are much easier. One shot to the head with a bolt action rifle or a Springfield rifle will do the trick. Or you can use some dynamite as well. That's entirely up to you. Challenge number nine is the challenge where we're going to be heading into spoiler territory. So if you're someone that hasn't finished the game, please turn away right now. Yeah, okay, you're gone, good. Challenge number nine requires you to ride from Van Horn to Blackwater in under 17 minutes without touching any water. Again, my amazing Photoshop skills will be put to use here. And all you wanna do really is start at the south of Van Horn and make your way to Blue Water Mesh where you take a right over the bridge and then through some dirt roads around Lamoy to the train tracks that will guide you to Flatneck Station, which you will follow to Rick Station. And as soon as you're at Rick Station, you wanna head down to Strawberry, go through the middle of the town so you don't hit any water and then go over the 01 Gila dam then make your way through tall trees towards the Great Plains and then ride into Blackwater and like with the previous two challenges the horse Stenema Stimulant is going to be your friend another great tip if you want to have a sure shot of completing this challenge with ease is by going to the staples in Blackwater and purchasing yourself the Arabian horse right there it's $1250 and it's a sure shot of completing this challenge especially if you combine it with all those cinema potions Challenge number 10 requires you to break every wild horse breed. Now it's not as bad as you might think so because they're actually really easy to find and you only have to get 9 horses in total. The horses you need to get are the American Paint, the American Standard Bread, the Apollosa, the Hungarian Half Bread, the Kentucky Saddler, the Morgan, the Mustang, the Dakota and the Tennessee Walker. And of course you can easily check which ones you already have by pressing left d-pad and then pressing your right bumper. There you can find the checklist or you can just simply go into the menus either way it will work. The area and or location that I had the most luck with was the Lake Don Julio area. Around Lake Don Julio you can pretty much find all of them and also around Armadillo as well. Mostly south of Armadillo, maybe a little bit more towards the west is where you're gonna find all of them. Some synergies that you could use uh, in before you engage with the horses is to equip your binoculars and kind of track them and find the info of the horses by pressing your right bumper button. That way you can identify what the breed of the horse is and you can decide either to engage or not and with your lasso. Because as soon as you come close, the horses obviously start to panic and you don't want to be chasing the wrong horse that you might already have. When you find the lasso of the horse, all you want to do really is you want to come close to it, calm it as you come closer and then jump onto it and then keep holding down your stick and then moving to the left or right in case that is necessary. Typically, I didn't really find there is a midway, either you stay on the horse or just being thrown off, but it shouldn't be too difficult at all. And once you completed those challenges, you can finally pick up your reinforced gear at the Trapper for completing challenge 1, 3, 7, and 10. And that brings us to the end of this Horseman Challenge Guide. If you found this useful, make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 challenge guides and content coming to you very soon. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.